The Marianas turkey shoot was the end of the Japanese Navy as a real threat to us. Their mistakes were coming back to haunt them. The Zero was a great plane, but they decided that maneuverability was more important than pilot safety. Sure, this gave Jap pilots an advantage in one-on-one -on -one fights, but in battle situations, our planes were superior. Eventually, the Japs ran out of good pilots. In Marianas, their planes were flown by pilots barely out of flight school. During the turkey shoot, they lost 220 planes compared to just 20 for us. Their second mistake was at Pearl Harbor. Originally, there were meant to be three waves of attacks. With the success of the first two waves against our fleet, the third wave was called off. The third wave's target was the tanks that stored our entire fuel supply in the Pacific. Things could have turned out very different if we'd had fuel problems at the start of the war. The Japs still had one weapon we couldn't match. For hundreds of years, Japanese society has been influenced by Bushido, the code of the samurai. To them, Bushido is a way of dying. For a Jap soldier, there was no greater honor than to give his life bravely in battle. Their final weapon was the divine wind, the kamikaze. Usurpa, the agent you rescued, has informed us that the Germans have delivered an advanced prototype fighter plane to the Japanese for an evaluation. This plane is powered by a turbojet propulsion system and is capable of almost 600 miles per hour. Your mission is to steal the prototype jet fighter, the ME-262, before the Japanese can evaluate it. Stealing the jet will not be easy. However, we are supplying you with a stolen Raiden fighter and a modified Japanese bomber that has been packed with 6,400 pounds of thermite. Your wingmen will steer the bomber into the base before bailing out. The resulting explosion should create a sufficient diversion for you to land the Raiden and steal the jet from right under their noses. Beware, we have received unconfirmed reports that the Germans have sent one of their ace pilots, Karl Heinz Kruger, to give a demonstration of the ME-262's capabilities. The Japs gathered all their capital ships in the Philippines to stop us taking it back. One of their ships, the Musashi, was about the biggest battleship ever built. So, Crow, you're the clown that's supposed to get me to this Japanese base safely. Just make sure you don't attract any attention. And how do I do that exactly? I don't know. Fly casual. Keep your distance. Don't shoot anyone unless they shoot you first. Stay close. 
Zach. It's a little hot down here. Time I got back to base. I better nurse this baby's throttle. It looks like these new engines are pretty damn touchy. The backroom boys want to sing in one piece, not pancaked all over a mountain.
German ace and holder of the Iron Cross. I hope you're funny. Haha, <laughs> American wit will give comfort to your relative. Crew, you're straying too far. Damn! That one saw me. Better watch out for fighters.
fucking ride you picked up. Just have the fire crews ready, Tower. She's a cantankerous bitch. I nearly bought the farm, just taken off. Your target today is the super battleship Masashi. The Masashi and his sister ship, the Yamoto, are the pride of the Japanese fleet. At 72,000 tons, they are the largest and potentially the most lethal ships ever built. However, the Masashi is lagging behind the main fleet. Without air cover or an AA screen from escorts, it's vulnerable. But it's a tough son of a bitch. We've already hit it with two raids and barely scratched the paint. This time, we want you to stay out there until it's destroyed. Watch out for the main guns. We lost one squadron in a previous raid to a massive AA weapon called the Beehive. If you see those things pointed your way, duck. Get out there and claim the prize. More up, people. Our heading is zero two zero. Dot formation. Okay, boys, take it easy when you sight the enemy. I don't want any of you coming down with buck fever. Roger that. Roger that. All right, y'all, it's gonna be a big fight. Um, man, we've been through a lot in this game. Uh, we've, we've attacked aircraft carriers using, using torpedoes and regular ass bombs and missiles. We've uh, stolen airplanes twice, a Japanese airplane and a, a, a German airplane. Uh, we've taken out a ton of aces from, from the 13th Squadron, which is the main bad guy. I mean. Japan in general is the main bad guy, but the flying aces from the 13th squadron, they just keep popping up, challenging us for boss fights. So uh, I think we still got one more bad guy left, one more of the 13th squadron, because we just, or uh, Tom, took out the second in command, right? So Tom, apparently, I mean, I'm surprised at how much actual stories in this game. Uh, look at in one mission when we got ambushed, Tom had to go back because his manifold was busted and he sat at home and we wanted to know how we got ambushed and figured out there was a um, bad guy in our ranks and and uh, Tom had his manifold busted went back before the ambush happened so everybody blamed him and they took his wings away so uh, yeah and then, and then later on Later on, uh, during a mission, position, men. all of the guys Ready had to formation. get back because the Japanese people. people started attacking our aircraft carrier. Oh. And my plane, yes, the Bobcat, which I'm flying now, was hurt, right? It's, it, I'd been through a lot of dogfighting, and, and I, was, I was barely going to make it back to the aircraft carrier. So the guys wouldn't, they wouldn't help me. They just left to save the aircraft oh, I hope we've got something big enough to put a dent in it. Damn it! Everyone split up and move in! We can't afford to get caught in formation! And the main guns can't hit targets at close range! Gotta beat the big one now.
the Musashi. That's it. Get in there and sink that son of a gun. Crow, I want your wing to move in first and target the rudder and propeller shafts. Aim for the fan tail on the back of the ship. Everyone else, distract their aim. That for makes now. sense. Disable the rudder so it can't move. So yeah, um so then I'm heading back with a with a I'm limping back with an injured plane, right? And and then I get dropped on to by the second in command of the 13th squadron, right? He's he's come with a full wing, and they're all uh, they're all about to kill me because of how many people of theirs we I killed personally, you know. Somehow they know it's me. So wait, where am I going? Oh, there we go. That's the way, Crow. Blast that runner to pieces. That's the way. All right, then, then, you know, good old Tom comes out to save my butt, and I get to go all the way back, and I wanted to go out there and save him, but they wouldn't let me. So Tom was left all alone with the, the fighters, and he managed to take out number two by himself, even though he died himself. So that sucks, you know. Tom, at least Tom redeemed himself. We don't know if he was the, the uh, mole or not, though. That, that was a... Uh, that that was a um i mean we gave him an honorable burial and everything assuming he was the mole that would have been a big a big deal but if he wasn't he wasn't even proven to be the mole then he, the mole still still hanging around in our our base you know our aircraft carrier which is the the uss enterprise which is trouble right it's a lot of trouble but anyway We'll just go ahead and forget about that part of the story. <laughs> anyway, we're, I think that's the whole recap, right? Other than uh, Crow having a, a real a real problem with these guys because right during Pearl Harbor, he, his brother got killed because he was on a boat that they blew up. So, you know, there was that. So, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. That's the whole story. So, we're caught up.
We're heading back for more bombs. Crow, take your wing and destroy the primary bridge. Let's see how well she handles with no bridge crew calling the shots. I'm going down! Bombing run. Support me, men. Defend this position, men. Support me, men. Yes, sir. I'm attacking the ship. Oh, what's your that? Yes, sir.
bombing run. Roger. Going after the ship. 